Only on five, a father is speaking out about a suspected fentanyl overdose that he says nearly killed his daughter and claimed the life of her 15 year old friend at Bernstein High School. He is detailing what his daughter has told him about that fateful night. KTLA 5's Corrine Winter live now in Hollywood mm. with an interview you'll see only on KTLA 5. Corrine. And Glenn Gregory Wheatley, he says he and his entire family, they are just devastated by what happened, including his daughter, who, get this, was next to her best friend when she took her last breath. Now, that teen was just released from the hospital where she was recovering this week from an overdose. Her father shared their tragic story. It hurts me because Melanie, you know, she's like, she's like, family to us. Words of heartbreak from a parent who almost lost a child and is grieving the death of another young girl he said was like a daughter to him who perished inside this school on a cold bathroom floor. I'm not sure exactly how they ended up on the bathroom floor uh, for all those hours. Um, it's 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 anyone's it's anyone's guess. Greg Wheatley said Tuesday morning at Bernstein High School started like any other with his daughter Heather and her best friend Melanie Ramos both 15 excited for the day ahead. They had known each other for years and both transferred to this Hollywood High School a month ago looking for a fresh start in a new environment. But their lives would be shattered after authorities say around lunchtime a 15 year old student attending another academy on Bernstein's campus that's independent of LAUSD offered the teens drugs. Wheatley said both girls went inside a bathroom and ingested what they thought was Percocet, but ended up being counterfeit pills laced with fentanyl. They passed out and spent hours on the floor until his daughter woke up unable to move her legs, but she dragged herself outside the bathroom hoping someone would help them. You need to have security no matter what, you know, I don't know, whatever, that's a big school, that's a big campus, and, uh, you know, whether it's security or just someone uh, in place to assure that, you know, people are not hanging out in the restrooms and make sure that you know, um, to be just to be more watchful. School personnel eventually spotted Heather after a concerned family member arrived at the campus looking for her. But Melanie never regained consciousness and died at the scene. This father said his daughter, who was hospitalized for days, survived the overdose, but is devastated about the loss of her best friend. He said enhanced security on campus and more supervision by school leaders may have saved Melanie's life. He also said his daughter's mother had alerted the principal earlier in the day, concerned that they hadn't heard from the 10th grader. He said little did they know she was asleep on a bathroom floor, unable to hear the intercom announcing her name. It's only a matter of time before, you know, it happens again. You know, if it happened to my daughter, it can happen to anyone. It can happen to anyone's child. And district leaders say they're focused on a number of things, not only trying to identify other perpetrators on campus who could be selling drugs to students, but they're working on increased safety measures to keep the entire campus community safe. As for Wheatley, he really wants the public to know that these teens, that they were not drug users, that they were good girls from good families, and that they just made a costly mistake by ingesting something that they didn't realize could be fatal. That's the latest here in Hollywood. Kareem Winter, KTLA 5 News.